Ooh, she's a hefty sack. That's a hefty eight chicken sandals. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. And tell you a story from high school. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up world? Back with another installment of the Eight Sandwich series. Somebody suggested in the comments about a week or two ago that I should do eight junior chickens from McDonald's and I have no problem with doing that. I love me a junior chicken from McDonald's. So I'm here to make a good attempt at tackling this. I will defeat one of these challenges one of these days. Hopefully today is the day, but I guess there's only really one way to find out and that is to go in on these sandwiches and while i go in on these sandwiches i will be telling you a story from my high school days so of course before we do anything more we must pour and i have the ice berg ready we are breaching today as we should we have diet dr p also as we should ready to go in it's a deep fizz time, I'm sure. So this uh, high school story I'm going to tell you is regarding just my skipping class because I did that a lot. Um, also, I kind of had a gambling problem at a t point in time in high school. And, uh, you know, I don't know if this will be a common thread, common theme, if other people did this in high school or not. But uh, at my high school, we found ourselves in a gambling racket at one point. And I was one of the, let's just say, top dogs. Okay. I was, I was deep in there and I, I had good luck. Uh, yeah. I had a good roll, roll of the dice, we'll say. Okay. So we must get fancy for the first sip. Yes. Yes, indeed. That tastes like extra lettuce and tomato. Why is that? Because that's what I got on all these. So I always get my sandwiches loaded and I had to get tomato on them. Had to get tomato on them. Okay. Let's pull a few guys out of their coverings and get them set up. Mm -hmm. There's some lettuce bursting at the seams. So in, in America, I know that I think you guys, the junior chicken that we have is your McChicken. But in Canada, this is like a junior version of also at McDonald's, there's something called a McChicken. And that, the McChicken has been standard around forever and ever and ever in the Canadian McDonald's lineup game. So, so as you could have guessed, I have some sauces on the side, but we're going to go in on the natural state of it, of one of these first. So very simple, basic lettuce, tomato, mayo, and the junior chicken patty has a light spice to it. Speaking of high school, that's this reminds me of. This is definitely a throwback to high school. I used to get a lot of these in high school after gambling. The economical sandwich. Two bucks. Can't go wrong. Tastes delicious. I highly encourage you, though, however, to get tomato added. It really just makes it that much better.
This is delicious. Killing it. It got here fast too. And there is that nice little kick to it. The patty's got a little bit of heat. Okay. One ranch bite. You know I had to do it. You know I had to bring the ranch. One ranch bite. And then... This story. Leaning Tower of Burgers. So, I used to get $80 of allowance per month. 20 bucks every Friday. Not a whole lot of money, but... money nonetheless very much appreciated back when I was 16, 17 you know so I think in this particular instance I was about 17 it was a Friday My dad broke me off with that crisp 20 piece and uh, <clears throat> I headed off to school. Now this was, this was on one of those like fine spring days, you know, you're kind of heading into summer. You get to school and the weather's just too nice and you're like, hell no, I ain't trying to go to no class today, <laughs> pretty much. So that's where I was at when I first rolled up to the school. I was just like, I got this fresh 20. I'm trying to gamble and make some extra money so I can get some things for the weekend. Weed supplies. I was trying my best to have it shape up to be a nice, good weekend. And because I was a successful high roller, out on the back cement slab where we used to chuck the dice, I was pretty confident I was going to be able to turn my 20 into more. So I roll into the back spot. Where all the stoners used to hang out. Hacky sacks, cigarettes, weed and gambling, basically what it entailed. And all the usual suspects are there. And I immediately hit the table. So we used to throw, here's a cement slab with this metal door. We used to throw dice against it. And we played craps. And, you know, I don't know how official our rules were, but like, so basically our rules were if you roll seven or 11, you win what's in the pot. If you roll doubles, you just get another roll. And if you roll snake eyes, 
you lose and the person that you're up against takes the money out of the pot. So I hit the table. And for two whole periods, I just went on this like this yo-yo run. Way up, back down, down, back even, way up. Eventually I would hit a cold streak around lunchtime and I got down to my last like five bucks not at all how I wanted things to be going because I had like such big hopes and plans for that weekend So I lose my last money. So now I have no money. And I got no stake in the game. And I'm like, I'm just like, fuck, man. That's not how this was supposed to go. So back in my day, um, I didn't take a school bus. I took the city bus to school and my parents at the start of each month would buy us a bus card with just enough punches on it to get to and from school so per month it would give you one ride to school and one ride home and there was never extra punches and I lived hella far from my school so it's like, if I didn't have my bus pass punch thing, I would have had to like walk, find a way to get to school, walk to school, whatever. So in my desperation of like needing something of value to gamble, I reached in my pocket and got my city bus pass out. And I had about, I want to say like 10 punches left on it, like quite a bit, still half the card or so. And those are like two bucks a punch. So that's like almost like a value of $20. But because you're in a gambling situation, there people are going to kind of, take the value a little less so I went against this dude for 10 bucks I was like I'll put this $20 value bus pass in the pot you go 10 and see you know what I mean see what happens you could win this bus pass that you know is worth 20 bucks green so he was down intense moment for me because I was like if I don't win this I don't know how I'm getting to and from school for the next rest of the month. But I prevailed. I won. So now I had 10 bucks back. And from there, I went on such a hot streak. I played all afternoon. But I went, I went hot. I ended up coming out with like 120 bucks.
and I was just so excited just being like 16, 17, 120 bucks for me at that age was like huge money. I was like, I could buy a half quarter of weed. I can get some McDonald's. I can still have like 60, 80 bucks left over for the rest of the month. I could buy lunches at school, all that. So I put it all on the line. I gambled house and home. And then I came out very victorious. I totally bought a half quarter of weed for sure. And then from there, I probably just got like a lunch. And then I had money for for a while. It was sick. I was stoked. Yeah, just a slight little half degenerate tale about my uh, high school days. I uh, I skipped a lot of class, guys. I can tell you that for sure. Um, just is is what it is. I didn't. Uh, I don't know, didn't love school, I guess. Who did, though, really, right? I still got through, graduated, and, and like, I always... Like, never got held back, never failed anything. I was just choosy about how much class I went to. I could always somehow get the work or find out from somebody else some stuff and then just get things done. What's with these green ass tomatoes? Come on now. It didn't help that, like, all my friends, too, like, my one dude, I'll tell you more about him and the story later on another video, but, like, my one dude lived right close to school, and he just had, like, the house that we could go to and literally chill out all day, smoke weed, play Xbox, Make music, trampoline, things like that. Very hard to go to school when you just have that option. His crib always had um, so many snacks. So. Classic. The good old days. All right, well, as per usual, six. Six is my limit. I've never gotten past it. And I don't know that I will. It's just where I tap out. My stomach doesn't like any more than six. And six is a lot, if I'm being honest. Six of those is, you know, that's a lot of food. It's probably not the best thing for me to be doing, but it's a challenge. And I have yet to defeat it. I wonder if I ever will get eight. I don't know, man. I feel like I could eat one more, but it would just be so, like, I just know how it, it just wouldn't feel good at all okay hope you enjoyed that little tale of me being a degenerate who didn't go to school very often and um but uh until the next one you know what to do eat good live well
Stay true.